Hey guys, my name is Massimo, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Mailbox. This is a video series where you, the viewer, can submit your gaming or Battlefield related questions, and then I will give my humble opinion on them. Now to get the formalities out of the way real quick, if you would like to submit your own question that can be featured in an upcoming episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below, or by sending me a YouTube message. The first question for today comes from Hank the Tank, and it is, do you think that DICE should bring back ghillie suits from Bad Company 2? However, the new ghillie suits would be an optional gadget. I actually am not opposed to this at all, and if DICE did decide to go down this path, I would be 100% on board. And in fact, I actually really like the concept of giving up a, a gadget slot for the ghillie suit component, because I have a feeling the reason why DICE doesn't have ghillie suits in the game is because they want to make sure that snipers can't just stay hidden the entire round. Like, I'm sure if you had the option to be completely invisible and you could just snipe people all day long, snipers would take advantage of that. And then that's the reason why they have the sniper glint in the game. That's probably why they don't have access to the ghillie suit is because while they want snipers to be effective at long range, they don't want them to be these immortal gods or invisible gods that no one can find and just sniping people all day long. And that's also why you have the kill cam in there as well. And so if they did give players the option to swap out one of their gadgets for the ghillie suits, I think many people would take advantage of it, but at the same time, it wouldn't be blatantly overpowered because you would be needing to swap out one of your gadgets, and at the same time, there are all of those other countermeasures, as I said, the kill cam and the sniper glint, to make sure that people will eventually find you out. It will add a little bit more stealth into the game for those long-range snipers. It would add to the authenticity of the game. Many people were very confused back in Battle of the Three when they didn't have options to the ghillie suit, because in the real world, especially if you're playing on a map that's full of jungles and uh, a lot of foliage, they would be using ghillie suits. Like, that's just, I'm, ass I'm assuming that is proper attire for those types of snipers. And so if they did add into the game, I'm sure many people would be thrilled. And at the same time, I think it would be well balanced because you would be giving up one of your gadgets. The next question comes from Otis and it is, what do you think about adding a new map that has true night-based combat? There could be fires and other interactive light sources to help people see in the dark. And this would also open up the usefulness of the infrared night vision scope and the flashlight. This has been something that I have always wanted in the Battlefield franchise, but I'm sad to say that that DICE has already come out and said that this is something that they considered when they were creating Battlefield 4 because they thought about Levolution and having true night-based combat, but uh, after testing it, it didn't suit their, their vision of the game. It was probably a little bit too tactical. The gameplay itself was a little slower than they were probably looking for, and so they, they bagged that concept completely. Uh, that being said, though, I did want to explore this concept a little bit because I truly do believe that if there was just one map in the Battlefield franchise that had true night-based combat, it would be a monumental breath of fresh air. It would be incredible. And the first thing is, is that many of the customization options in this game, uh, such as the infrared night vision scope, the flashlight, and the flares, are completely useless on normal maps. And if you had a map that was completely dark, they would open up so many different tactical and gameplay options that we normally don't have. The infrared night vision scope would all of a sudden become one of the most used customization or optics for that map. You could use flares to illuminate certain sections of the map, but also blind people that are using the infrared night vision scopes. You could use the flashlight to not only illuminate what's in front of you, but blinding people as well. But if you're using it, putting yourself at a disadvantage because it's pretty much a beacon and so there's just so many different things that we can't have on a normal map with these customization options but all of a sudden become incredible and much more tactical when you put them into a night based combat scenario uh, and then the other thing is is the frostbite engine itself the lighting and particle effects of this engine are incredible and to have explosions or to light up cars and have them explode and then catch on fire and then that fire illuminates what's going on around them would just add to the atmosphere of the game. <laughs> the graphics themselves are already amazing, but I just can tell from the amount of lighting in this game and the lighting effects and particle effects, it would be just an incredible experience in and of itself to play on one of these maps. And so all of these different components, while somewhat useful and cool on normal maps, I think would just add a different tactical dynamic to the game itself. It would be completely different from what we're used to. It would be just a breath of fresh air. And so I'm still crossing my fingers that this is something that DICE is going to do. 
I don't think that they really are, but I'm still, I'm still hoping that this is something that we could see in a future Battlefield title. The next question comes from James, and it is, how would you feel with an adrenaline shot gadget? Due to the way that defibs work in Battlefield 4, I have more than once gone for a quick revive on an ally and had them instantly shot down because they only had 20% health. With adrenaline shots, you could instantly revive an ally to full, but what the drawback is, you can only care a limited number of shots. What are your thoughts? Uh, so normally when I hear these ideas about adrenaline shots, it usually comes from players who like the idea of injecting di adrenaline directly into their soldier. This will allow them to maybe reload the weapon faster, maybe it will allow them to sprint faster for a short period of time, giving them a slight advantage on the battlefield. But honestly, that just always felt arcadey to me. It just didn't feel like it fit the battlefield scene, and so I, I never really wanted it to be in Battlefield 4. But your concept I find to be very, very very interesting because right now there is only one gadget in the game that can revive your allies and that of course is the defibs and one of the largest drawbacks of the defibs is that if you want to get your ally to 100% health you have to go through the, the charging process which takes a couple of seconds and during that process of charging up your defibs a lot of things can go wrong. An enemy can round the corner, smack you in the face with a bunch of bullets. Your allies' revive symbol completely can, can completely disappear. Many, many things can go wrong. And so it would be nice if there was some way, some other gadget that had other drawbacks compared to the defibrillators, but would allow you to revive your allies instantaneously. There are a lot of moments in this game where I don't even go for the revive because I know my ally isn't going to isn't going to live through the revive because they're only going to have 20% health. And I understand that is why DICE added that mechanic in the game. They didn't want people going for those ninja and Rambo revives like they did back in Battlefield 3. But if there was a counter or just a different slightly customization option, these adrenaline shots, that had a drawback where maybe you could only use one or two during a lifespan but allowed you to revive your ally to 100% health, that could be a very interesting addition into the game. And so I would like to get your guys' take on this. Is this something that you would like to see added into Battlefield 4 where on the one hand you could use the defibs as they function right now where you can revive everyone but they do have the drawbacks which we already know or would you like to have an adrenaline shot where you could only use one or two during a lifespan Span, but at the same time, they had the advantage where you could get an ally to 100% health instantaneously. Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm very interested. The next question comes from Frank, and it is, What are your thoughts on DICE implementing a system that gives you points if you cause a major levolution moment, such as taking out the last pillar on Siege of Shanghai? This will give players a larger incentive to interact with the environment and hopefully cause these large levolution moments that we don't see enough of now that the game has been out for a while. So, Levolution to me isn't just about destroying and taking out large structures. To me, it's about using your environment to your advantage to kill your target. So if you know an enemy is just around a corner or they're behind a wall, shoot an RPG at that wall, destroy it, maybe killing them in the process, but then switching on over to your primary to finish them off. If you know a couple of enemies are just in the other room and you hear the metal detectors going off, it probably means that they're about to flank around and take you out. And for me, that is what Levolution is all about. Taking advantage of your environment to take out your targets. What you're suggesting is giving free points to enemies for destroying inanimate objects that can't defend themselves. The Siege of Shanghai Pillars, while it takes a while to take them out, they can't shoot at you, and you're basically giving free points to someone that doesn't require any skill at that point. What you should reward players for, and what Levolution should be about, is that if the enemy is completely dominating the top of the skyscraper, then you want to take out the pillars because then it's going to crumble to the ground, and hopefully that will allow you and your allies to get a foothold and to take that central capture point. That's what Levolution is. It's not about just free points, it's not about destroying everything on the battlefield, it's about using the environment to your advantage to take out your targets. And so no, while I know some people may like this idea, I do not think that it's necessary. I have a feeling that if this was the case, then the maps would be destroyed a lot faster. People would just be firing RPGs all over the place to try to get free points, and that is not something that we're looking for. Uh, but that is about it for today's Sunday Mailbox. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, if you would like to submit your own question that can be featured in an upcoming episode, you can do so by leaving a comment down below or by sending me a YouTube message. Uh, but until tomorrow, guys, have a good one and take it easy.